for coming out. Um, for those who don't know, or I don't know if you really care, but I'm Sal Cirincioni. I'm with iHeartRadio out of New York. This is my 10th cruise, and for shits and giggles last night, I decided to go back and see how many interview sessions, this is not the number of people, but interview sessions that we've had or that I've conducted on here, and it's 29, this is the 29th. So um, a big thank you to all of you. Uh, I see many of you on the ship, and you're very kind and complimentary, and I want you to know it's very much appreciated. And uh, myself, I just want to give a big thank you to a lot of people, uh, well, it'll be a quick list, but uh, Kevin, our stage manager, <laughs> just walking off. John on the side of the stage, Brian at the desk in the back, these guys are always very helpful, and Franco and Sarah from Sea Planners who run this theater for us every year, and of course, the wonderful security staff, let's hear it for them, they've been wonderful to deal with, uh, they are really a bunch of nice guys, so I just, I, I felt the need to get that out. And that's enough of that. I know I look like a Moody Blues album cover. Don't know, I'm trying it. So, let's get this going. You've seen two shows now by him. He's got a third one today. A member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Let's give it up for Billy F. Gibbons. to see you. Should we make it official here? Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. They don't look cheap, though. Yeah, they're uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... You haven't been to the dollar store lately. So. No, I, I have not. I have not. Uh, you did the first... Rock Legends Cruise back in 2011 with ZZ Top. Welcome back. Thank you very much. So, how's it been going so far? <coughs> this one has been rather smooth. It, it's uh, it, quite smooth. I remember the first one. Uh, the the uh, I did a little number. Uh, we we had the section of one song. We did a little jump. Maybe this month. And. Uh, um, as we did our little six inch jump, the boat hit a wave going down, which became a four foot jump. <laughs> so, we're smooth. <laughs> I was thinking watching you on the deck stage last night that I think we need to change the uh, middle initial, uh, uh, not change it, but now the F in Billy F. Gibbons stands for fan. Because okay. it was a blowing last night. It was, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, quick question. Um, you waited quite a while to do anything on your own. I mean, you were tried and true to ZZ for many years before going out on your own. You're still with ZZ Top, of course. I don't want to uh, get any, you know, disappoint anybody. But why the decision then to finally start doing stuff on your own? What, what got you to that crossroads and what, why did you decide to go with it? I fired the manager. No. no. <laughs> there, there was uh, uh, just some interesting... Uh, int I started working with, believe it or not, Depeche Mode. <laughs> they said, ZZ Top and Depeche Mode, how does that work? It's like peanut butter and jelly. Hey, if it worked, it worked, right? Peanut butter and hot sauce. <laughs> <they're> like, yeah. <laughs> But that started it, and then uh, the gates opened up. Uh, there was a recent magazine, uh, uh, kind of a highlight. It's a, uh, 60 things you didn't know about BFG. And it listed all of these different acts and artists that, that we'd had the opportunity to perform with outside of ZZ Top. And uh, Gosh, there's a lot of guys that owe me some money. <laughs> <laughs> well, all these different things about BFG on your website, because I was thinking I was going to wish you 
an early 75th birthday, but is that not the case? So are you turning 74? Because on your website it says, and I quote, born on either March 4th or December 16th, 1950, both dates have been given in the past. I mean, that's a quote from your website, not from Wikipedia or anything, so you want to set the record straight? When I was born, I was zero years old. <laughs> But I'm going on 18 now. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Mature, maturity came a little bit early with the facial hair and everything. I yeah. get it. I get yeah. it. But this is a big year for um, ZZ Top, 55th anniversary of the band. Yeah. Any special, I mean, I, I know you're going to be touring. You've got the uh, Sharp Dress Simple Man tour with Leonard Skinner. Um, anything to, uh, you know, signal out the, uh, single out the 55th anniversary or maybe when you get to 60? Well, I was talking to Keith Richards the other day. And he said, uh, you know, coming up on 55. Yeah. I said, yeah, you're going on 60. 65. Just don't remind me. <laughs> but I, I like to be reminded. It's, it's it, I mean, God, we've gotten away. We only know three chords. That's a good, <laughs> that's a good, good stretch. <laughs> Made a career out of it. <laughs> when, um, when we lost Dusty, um, did you wrestle at all with continuing as ZZ Top? What went through your, I mean, we know, can only imagine what went through your head when you heard, you know, that he passed, but then taking that next step forward. Well, it was kind of a surprise. He said, listen, I'm feeling out of sorts. I said, well, we got a, we got a 10 day break here before the next show. Why don't you go see a physician and knock it out? He said, yeah. He said, uh, if I'm late, be sure and give my guitar to our guitar tech, who'd, who'd been with us for 30 years. Hell, bit. Who taught Dusty half the stuff that he knows. <laughs> so he was, he was, uh, and the story goes, Dusty went back and, and uh, he went to see the doctor uh, on arrival, and he said, look, it's late in the afternoon, go home, get some rest, come back in the morning, and they went to sleep, and that was that. So Elwood, uh, now, keep in mind, El when Elwood was hired, as our, he, w he served as a guitar tech and bass tech at the same time. Uh, already an accomplished guitarist and bass player, but when he was hired, he showed up with an avocado sandwich in one hand and a skateboard under the other. <laughs> For 30 years, I never saw him with a whisker. Clean shaven, but then the lockdown occurred and one day the manager said, hey, it looks like ZZ Top's gonna, the curtain is rising, you're gonna go back to work. I said, well, we better rehearse. We haven't played in over 18 months, maybe it'd be time to learn what we're supposed to know. Uh, I showed up and I said, who's the new guy? And they said, which one? I said, that new guy with the beard as long as mine. They said, oh, that's Elwood. I said, no, Elwood's clean shit. And they said, no, Elwood got lazy like I did. And uh, so there you have it. He stepped in and he, he uh, of course, he, he, he fit right in on, on, it was at Dusty's request, listen, give my guitar to Elwood. I recently shared a dressing room. Uh, I was playing a show, uh, it was in New York, and I was sharing a dressing room with the original five blind boys of Alabama. And we got along great, and there was the minder, was a young fellow and he grabbed me and he said, listen, he said, I, I need to leave the room. Can you take care of my guys for a minute? I said, yeah, sure. As soon as he walked out the door, the guy grabbed me. He said, could you lead me to the bathroom? I said, sure, yeah, come on. So I became the minder and uh, 
the guy finally came back and he said, gee, he said, uh, you're so fortunate. Uh, your man Elwood, came, he just showed up with a big beard. He fits, fits right in. I said, yeah. And he said, of course, you know, if you want to join our guys, you've got to be blind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's because I asked that question because, you know, look, we're getting, you know, you know for the longest time, it was uh, you, ZZ, Aerosmith, U2, uh, Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Uh, those were like the biggest of the big bands that stayed together for so long with their original lineups. I mean, not even the Stones are original anymore, and the Who, of course, sadly, are no longer. So I was kind of wondering where you, where you stand on bands who continue to go out under their moniker without certain key members. I mean, is, is it a key member decision to, to make? I mean, if, if Frank came to you and said, I'm, retire, I'm retiring, are you still going to go out as easy? Frank, Frank told me he had retired about 10 years ago. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that guy is right there. <laughs> uh, now that's an interesting story. Uh, as everyone may know, the last surviving original member, or one of the last surviving original members, uh, Gary Rosington, the guitarist, when he passed away, I said, well, gee whiz, that's, that's going to be it. That's... That very day, I got a phone call from now singer Johnny Van Zandt, mm -hmm. and he said, I said, oh gosh, I'm so, uh, uh, so glad to hear from you. He said, I've heard the news that uh, Gary Rosington has now passed away. And he said, yeah. He said, uh, I know ZZ Top is going out next week. Can Leonard Skinner, we're going to press onward. Can we join the, join the tour? So. I said, well, we gave you, we, ZZ Top hired Leonard Skinner as our opening act. We gave them their first paying job. And they're still doing it. So, yeah, it's a good thing. So, you know, the question I think is, who's the star of the show? Is it the music or is it the people playing it? Now, with you, you know, that beard is kind of a dead giveaway, so if you're not up there... <laughs> so, yeah, it's just, it's just an interesting question. To me, anyway. Well, it's for not going on... Was it next year we're celebrating 55? This year. This year. <laughs> Unless that's wrong in the bio, too. <laughs> <laughs> Frank's supposed to turn 75 this year. I hope that's right. I, well, I keep telling Frank, I am the star of the show, Frank. <laughs> but, you know, he, out of the three guys, you know, it's two beards and Frank, real name, Beard. <laughs> the man that is clean, sh no beard, Frank, no beard. Yeah. Well, hey, we, you know, ZZ's still going, and that's what we're happy about. So, yeah. kudos to ZZ and on... on <laughs> on all these years and, uh, and, and many, many decades together and hopefully many more to come. So now the question, you're out with a trio. So what's the difference between this trio and ZZ Top? How do you see it in your mind? Well, there's different people, different approaches to uh, the way the delivery explodes. Um, this is an interesting gathering. Uh, someone said, gee whiz, I saw you play last night. Two guitars and drums, but we hear a bass. And you got somebody off hiding behind? No. We met a guy in Los Angeles, and uh, he was a neighbor. And he said, hey, come on over. I've got something to show you. I've got a new guitar pickup. And I said, oh, there's hundreds. Of he said, no. He made a guitar pickup that has a miniature computer mounted on board. Visually, you cannot detect any difference from a standard humbucking pickup than this contraption that he's made, but this thing detects the bottom string 
and throws it an octave lower to become a bass. Wow. So I said, gee whiz, let's try it out. And, and it worked out. And uh, so we installed it on not one, but two guitars. So I play guitar, Austin Hanks, although he's left-handed upside down and backwards, I can't even look at him. <laughs> We both installed these, uh, this, it's called A Little Thunder. That's the name of this pickup. Both of us take it. So we, you may not see it, but you will hear it. Not one, but two bass players. Wow. And so... We don't have to pay them. <laughs> yeah, so I guess Elwood's days are limited in ZZ Top, and you can just do both yourself. <laughs> Poor guy. Just getting going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But who, so, who determines then the bass playing part of it, and who determines the guitar playing part of it? When we were seeing it on, on stage last night, you know, we, do you go pick a song, you do the bass part, and I, or it just automatically does it as you're playing the guitar? Uh, 